We're learning new details tonight about the three other men who were shot yesterday at the rally, including that former firefighter who was killed. Here's CBS's Meg Oliver. Tonight in Pennsylvania, retired chief Corey Comparatory's fire gear hangs in his locker at the Buffalo Township Fire Department. He was a family-loving, God-fearing man. Witnesses say the 50-year-old veteran firefighter died trying to shield his family from gunfire at the Trump rally. Second Lieutenant Greg Serencioni. What's it like when you look over and you see his gear hanging here today? Heartbreaking, almost don't, don't even understand it, how it could happen. Comparatory was married to his high school sweetheart, Helen. The couple had two daughters. After the shots rang out, rally attendee Jim Sweetland, an emergency room doctor, tried to save Comparatory. I looked up to see his family, who had witnessed my efforts at resuscitation, and the look on their faces said it all. Two other gunshot victims are in stable condition, 57-year-old David Dutch and 74-year-old James Copenhaver. Back at the firehouse, Comparatory's firefighter brothers are paying tribute with flags flying at half-staff. He was a man that was full of love, and there's too much hate going on right now, and we don't need to make this about hate at all. It's just hug your family, keep them close. That's what he would do. As the fire department and community mourns Comparatory, his wife paid tribute in a private Facebook post, saying her husband died the hero he always was. He would have it no other way. Nora? Oh my goodness, Meg Oliver, thank you so much for that story.